And welcome back to Barrier Blitz, everyone. We are halfway through day two. The best runs of the day still yet to come in the final hours of this exciting event. We're focusing on the etiquette side of things right now as he's making his way through the final trainer in Victory Road. And we're expecting him to put up a very, very good time. Could even be competitive with Etchy's time that he set earlier on today. While Etchy only is the only one that has finished a run, he moved right to the top of the leaderboards. I'm Thomas Patrick WX, AKA TPAT on commentary. I'm joined by Jordan, the legend himself, the organizer, the producer, the director. He's the head honcho of this event. So big shout out to him as well as Razor for yet another three hours here on commentary. Gentlemen, first of all, how are you doing today and how exciting has this event been so far? It's been fantastic. It has been awesome. <laughs> you still have most of your sanity today right <laughs> like you're, you're not going crazy just yet <laughs> no okay well that's fair that's fair um well hopefully you can let and you know we say there's six hours left but really there's probably going to be close to nine hours because we know somebody's going to take that last reset right before the cutoff and just extend that into the the stoppage time like what we saw with jash yesterday um so all the more power to you i'll pour you an extra cup of coffee if you need it today coffee yeah Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a coffee person either. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. All, all right. I guess. I guess we're all on the uh, the swift side of things, and we'll, we'll get you. We'll get you some tea. I'm actually drinking some tea right now. Uh, anyways, we are seeing etiquette move into victory, or not just past victory road, but now into the elite four. And while he was one of the first, I think literally the first person to set a time on the board yesterday, he had that very first run. That took all the way to the end. That time has not really held up that 304.46. So this is looking a lot, lot better. Um, and there's still some dangerous fights though. So, you know, it's, it's gonna be a nail biter to the end. I'm excited to know that it's that you never know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a 302. Is it gonna be a low 303? Is champion gonna crit? Uh, like so like so many of these runners have experienced before. I'm excited to see what happens just cause I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, this is more now mid 303 pace. I I heard he was thinking, thinking, just considering uh, doing the one controller rival five like he did yesterday, <laughs> but decided yeah, he against didn't end it. Up doing that though, he ended up going the two controller. So yeah, a little bit safer. Um, I didn't catch what his Starmie was like um, about an hour ago. I think it was I think it was all right. It was like in that 1090. CP range or so? Yeah, so his... He had, like, 115 special attack with this army at 45. But it's very fast. Yeah, it looks like he could have used a little extra special attack. He did just miss a range on the yes. Lapras, the plus four range. He'll have to hit a Hydro Pump here, I assume. No, nope, he goes he for Skull. Just to point out, Katniss has uh, his comeback. He's just starting up another room now. He had to, uh, he just stepped away for a break. I think he also looked his vaccine appointment. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's great to hear. You know, I, I've been so happy to be fully vaccinated for like three weeks now. So, right. It's been awesome. I've gotten to see some more friends recently and, oh, it's just going to be an exciting time in the next couple of months. Get your vaccines, kids. It is Especially important. for you and I in the next two months. Yeah, with uh, with Mid Midwest Speed Fest coming up, that's gonna be yeah. so fun. God, I'm looking so forward to that. It's gonna be blast. Yeah, etiquette pass Lorelai now. Yeah, I think you're right. Mid 303 is about where it's looking like. Maybe, yep. maybe get him onto the podium, or that should get him onto the podium steps. No, it'll be, be pretty comfortable. Sure. Yeah. Which, I mean, he'll be fair, comfortably though. ahead of Kerbis by about a minute. So, so at this point, it's like. How aggressive do you be? Because we saw him do the two controller champion fight, which is just outright safer at the cost of a couple seconds. You think we see him do that again? I, I mean, 
it's okay if it's to not say if you don't know, position, I don't know the please. answer to that either. <laughs> I mean, I, if I was okay, and I was as good as he was at this game, and looking at like the leaderboards, I probably wouldn't go for it. I would just go for the position at this point. It's not going to make too much of, 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 of a difference ranking wise. Yeah, so, he's still got plenty yeah. of time to to try to get on another run that could be even better yet. Laugh at Bruno. Why? Because the fact that he loves to use... Oh, I don't know. Um, Stealth Box. Which people makes no get their, sense at all. People trying to get their bingo goals in. Despicable. <laughs> just to point out, just to point out, I am still not tired. So, okay. I, I do have to say this, because I, I saw this in the Discord channel, that there was some bingo sheet going on from this morning. I have not looked at that bingo sheet. I don't know if there's even a goal about me or not. So I'm going to be completely unbiased in this in this adventure if you have your bingo goals. I know it exists. I just don't know what's on it. Just to point out, Teapot laughing there does not count at laughing as Bruno. No. Nice try, sheet. Sorry, it doesn't work. Nope. If anything, I'm just laughing at myself because, you know, it's pretty pretty easy prospect there. You do that all the time, even on your own streams. I do. I do make myself laugh a lot. Not that I'm like the funniest guy, no, or anything. <laughs> it's just, it's just. I don't know. I just want to have fun, and and uh, and you know, I'm having fun with the, with uh, with lots of lots of great runners, lots of great commentators, lots of great people in chat. That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Etiquette easily passed Bruni. He's on the uh, on the Agatha fight here. Uh, one of the few places where you can get KO'd, you know, with a crit at the wrong moment. Uh, this is a pretty standard start, just getting glare turn one. Got the defense uh, fall. Yikes. Yes. So, so it's gonna look scary, you know, you, you full restore out of not only paralysis, but out of kill range, pending a crit, and it looks scary, he but you are expected to live that hit. And he should be good to sweep from here. I think the only thing is with that defense drop, he has to just keep in mind what the damage rolls are for the Golbat's quick attack. Yep. And if you have, obviously if you have, if you have to heal out of that, it does waste a bit more time, like uh, a full turn plus getting into your menu. So I, I assume probably around like 12 to 15 seconds or so. Uh, yeah. About that, yeah. It's an extra turn, so it's about just 10 to 12 seconds. Point out with Kerbis's run, seems like a Stami. I didn't catch the speed. Stami had 112 special attack, which that's a uh, bit on the low side. Yeah, it doesn't that's sound great. That's really low. That's that will be a range on the Dragonite with points. I almost I thought you were gonna say range on Nine Tails, and I'd be like, I just figured out that range the other day, <laughs> the one on Blaine. <laughs> you have to have really range. bad, really bad special attack <laughs> to be a range on Blaine. Fun what fact, exists? I've had 31 IV special attack and 0 IV speed and died to blame. By the way, did you just see this? Uh, Etiquette summoned his second controller to heal Starmie with the second controller out of quick attack range and the Golbat didn't even use quick attack. Wow. So he didn't really? technically have to do it. It might have been a roll or a range for that goal bat to kill. And if it didn't yeah. pre-roll, it just didn't go for it overall. So he did play that safe. So so we kind of know where Etiquette's headspace is right now, saying, like, yep. I got to just finish this run. Like, I got to yeah. get this 303 on the board. You know, I don't mind losing a couple seconds right here. Um, but, he yeah, it's getting close to that 303 time. high. Yeah, he yeah. knows it'll be Kerbis's time, so we'll go the safe strats. And yeah, especially like if, if you still have the rapid dash at this point, well, you're gonna you're gonna seem like that it'll be a two controller champion fight. Just right. that one hundred percent, yeah, guaranteed. I would be shocked if he didn't go a two controller champion at this point. And when you're jumping from six to third, I would take that. That's a smart play. Knowing yeah, you're then, not gonna be and it, second, and it, frees, it frees him up for the final hours of the event to play as aggressively as a lot of these other players are are doing it right does. now it does and 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 you two have watched more of the morning part of the event than i have and 
and you can attest that everybody's playing so aggressively, uh, not just like through like the mid part of the game, but their resets have been like no, like no doubter resets. Not I'm kind of on the fence. Should I finish or keep going? It's like nah. If I'm questioning that, I should be resetting anyways. Isn't that right? Yes. Well, e even I'll say that for like for Edgar as well. Like there was a a long section where he was just resetting constantly. I mean, I think it was partly down to Evie's, but there was a lot of resets. <laughs> yeah. Because it, and it once like... he gets this time up here, it'll be a high 303, low 304. And he's definitely going to be more of a... I'm resetting unless this is like a 302 pace. Right. All right, he's got 141 special attacks, so the Dragonite will be guaranteed for etiquette. And yeah, Sheep, this is only the second run finishing, correct? Yeah, so I think I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of Josh and Kerbis, if not both of them, will finish their runs. I would imagine both probably will, barring Any unfortunate crits or something like that. Ooh, or like or like a bad that. archer too, which they do still have to get through that, <laughs> that, well, that particular too. fight. Etchy on By the, the way, reset. you just saw Etchy just reset. Looks like that's around, um, not Rock Tunnel, that would be around Hideouts. Uh, the hour and a half mark. Yeah, he was in yeah, Hideout yeah. for sure. Actually, just point out that like, Cyan just entering the, uh, entering Lavender Tower, which I, I don't remember if he got a room to this. I feel like he must have got a room to this point yesterday, but, or even earlier today. But hopefully we can see uh, Cyan finish his first run of the event. Yeah. By the way, He's, I can he, confirm that that Etchy did. Uh, he basically lost to Giovanni. Uh, he was outsped uh, and uh, got hit by Slash twice, and one of them was a crit. Oh, unfortunate. But here we have Etiquette. Did Did you see if he's doing two controller? Uh, uh, yeah, the two people <laughs> were there. Yes, I, I took my I took my eyes off for just a second. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he is gonna do the two controller fight. Which you may as well again just confirm that it, time, get yourself up the lead. It's gonna be a really high 303. If it is a 303, it's probably a low 304. Like a Yeah, probably about a 304 or one, 304 Yeah. She's just taking five minutes, which yeah, why not? I mean, after up. after eighteen plus hours of, of running this game, I don't blame them. I don't blame anybody for taking just a little bit of a break. I'd imagine a lot of these runners are going to take a fairly decent break from this game after this. I mean, re I mean, refuel, rehydrate, <laughs> do whatever you need to do to keep your sanity, Jordan. <laughs> Uh, trust me, I lost my sanity <laughs> ages ago. <laughs> yeah, Etiquette in the, the, in the home the stretch place. now, so it should be no problem for him finishing. Yeah, this is definitely GG's for Etiquette finishing the second run of the day. Yeah, only two runs versus uh, versus how many runs do you think we had finished in total? Eight, nine around that time. Uh, I know that Caterney's had two PBs uh, just yesterday alone, which is which is totally awesome. Yeah, uh, for this event, he had a minute sixteen PB yesterday, which is fantastic. <laughs> After time slash PBing by like one second in his first run of the day. <laughs> Which is just so, which is just so cool, because you're like, you're like, mash, mash faster, <laughs> mash like your life depends on it, and then he just hit the split button like a second later. <laughs> and even after that run, he admitted he like he's like that run wasn't that great, and I tied it. Which is, which he shows you the like... skill of these players. Yes, GG to etiquette GG. as now he will be mashing for the fastest <laughs> possible time here. Uh, but should comfortably be right, straddling right around that 304 mark. Yep. This will put Kerbis down into fourth now. 
So Etchy first with a 302.35, Jim Freak with a 303.02, both of which are personal PBs for those two players. And now Etiquette slotting into third with around a 304. Of course, that not a PB for him as the uh, as the EV world record holder for the events. We've had a lot of PBs this event, which I mean, even if we don't end up breaking the world record, that's more than. Yeah, that's, that's more than yeah, it's more than fun. Three oh four oh five, the final time for etiquette, and so that confirming that he does move into that third position. You know, Razor, we were just talking about PBs, and as I was watching the first day of the event, uh, like obviously Caternese, Jim Freak, uh, getting those first PBs on the board. Who would you say was your day one MVP of the events? Oh gosh. Cause, cause for me for me for me it was Caternies with the double PB. Uh and it showed it showed the strength of him as a runner as well. Maybe didn't have the best seed time coming into the event, but definitely like was proving that, that he definitely belongs here. And in the in the three oh fours is a fantastic time for this game. To me that really stood out as one of like the like the top individual efforts. Yeah. for the day as a whole yeah uh, i i i can get behind that one i'd also argue jim freak with still finishing a 303 mm -hmm. even with forgetting to set the nature that... like, that's insane <laughs> Yeah, that is a that is an incredible feat to, to be able to overcome a mistake and be able to to just slay a run like that. And a mistake that bad, like setting the nature. Well, most people would would have just reset. Yeah, most would have. And the fact that she didn't and still finished with that good of a time is outrageous. Like yeah, to top the day one standings talent of all of these runners is next level yeah and it's it's also a mental effort too and i don't know about you but when i see red splits on my live split i'm always a little discouraged i'm like ah yep. this run sucks and and you know that if you're a little bit behind it almost seems to snowball like you'll make one small menu here you get a little bad rng there and it, it really just does. snowballs from like you were only 10 seconds behind to now i'm a full minute behind and a mistake like mm -hmm. that can feel like that like the start of that snowball so to be able to keep that headspace yeah. and power through a run and still play at a top level i mean shows the mental strength of these runners too and just to be a good runner at this level you have to have a good mental game and that's just that's far better than I could do, straight up. <laughs> it is it, it is an art in itself. Um, and then on the other side, how about the physical side of things? Uh, you saw me last week, and I made that first throw in the forest, and like my yes, wrist injury kind of like popped up, and I was like, ah, that kind of hurt. What physical strength does it take for these runners to be able to do two 12-hour sessions back-to-back -back when it isn't just... <laughs> sitting back and holding the controller and button mashing. I mean, you have to physically move that controller for all these throws. By the end of this, I would be amazed if all of their arms and wrists aren't on fire. If they aren't already. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it, it's just... It's just a little... Ex that little extra physical effort that I feel like takes takes this game to just another notch of of how difficult it is. <laughs> Gosh, be it near, like, don't pretend I have physical strength. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we're all not just going to go out and run the uh, and run the Coeur d'Alene Idaho uh, Ironman uh, next weekend, but I, I do think that this game, just, just so much going on that makes it so unique for a Pokemon franchise game uh, between the catch mechanics uh, and, and just, yeah. j just it being, Ooh. you know... In what it is, I will agree. Reset the gym for you. Yeah, uh, just saw that. That, that Although run. let's be honest, Teapot, the I'd far rather run this game for 18 hours or 24 hours or whatever than run black and white for that. 
I don't know. I feel like Echi might disagree. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it depends. Maybe it depends on the day. But yeah, Jim Freak did just uh, looks like he did lose to the Archer one fight. So that will be a reset. You know, take a break. You know, come back into the pits, refuel. And yeah, we'll we'll see more attempts. But it looks like our two leaders at the moment uh, are Jayash and Kerbis. Pretty close. I mean, their time their times are only about a minute apart, just on the clock, and they're. Uh, Jay Ash is finishing Erica and Kerbis is on the Erica fight right now. If I had to compare, it looks like Jay Ash is a little bit farther ahead uh, in in just raw pace at the moment. Just a tad, but not by much. It's extremely close. And these are two Both of the have top. the exact same catch count. Um, and, and these are yeah, this like is... two of the top Pika runners that we have here. Yeah. And Josh um, is the world record holder in the Pika side, yeah, after Kirbis. having Bop Kerbis from having that, so yes. <laughs> the, would you say that these two have a bit of a rivalry to see who can also break through that 301 barrier, which obviously all these runners are trying to do for this event, but maybe just a little bit extra between Kerbis and Josh? I mean, you I mean, might say that, but I mean, if you were to ask either of them, I'd guarantee you they'd say no. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if anything, it'd be just like that that friendly rivalry that you can just have like by, by to push you both. Right. Forward. Yeah. You know, it's always a lot more fun when you do have other people running the game at around the same time and you're sharing notes and you're sharing strategies and it helps both players. I 100% yes. agree. Like in the it, lead up to this event, all the people just like trying to figure out new strats, especially like on the EV side. Oh, it felt like primarily on the EV side, but yeah, with a lot of the new strats. two controller strats, yeah. Yeah, we were mentioning that yesterday that the um, that on the EV side they were almost borrowing the the Pika strats when it came to two controlling certain fights. You know, using a support Pokemon to help you get through, and that that pretty much stems from how Pika is routed at the moment, right? A lot of it, yes. Um, a large part of it, really is just I, I i guess yeah it's probably a lot of it off of pika side because pika does a lot of them eevee doesn't need to do two controllers and for the vast majority of it we never did and it's just the because of the coverage it's not only safer but a lot of these fights especially like rival four fight is a lot faster yeah because in total you know if you're each time you have to select a move for both of your uh, Pokemon characters, you're just using up time if you don't need that time. If it's a three-turn fight with a one controller versus a four-turn fight with a two controller, or a four selection fight, it's usually faster to just do the one controller fight. But then you get a fight like what we just saw with Jayash, the blue fight. One of the few fights that right from the get-go was oh, we need help from Dodrio here uh, because the Executor is the only Pokemon that Starmie does not have coverage for. Can Kerbis hit the Fire Blast? He does. Yep, and that's the that's the other strat. If you don't have the Dodrio, you can use the Rapidash to use Fire Blast to get that coverage on that Executor. Managed to hit the 80% like the 80 so the run is still alive. Had he have missed, I would have expected a reset. And that's the advantage of Dodrio, is that any Dodrio KOs that Executor. 100% drill peck accuracy. Even with a modest nature, it's guaranteed. Oh, he resets anyways. Oh, wow. Oh, so just getting your missed pumps out of the way, fair. Okay, we got the boom. Yeah, great start to the Archer 2 That's fight. That's a really great start for that. Yep, boom with no protect, most importantly. So, now we'll so the, the three-turn fight is still bone. alive here. Well, we get the double bone ring from Trace. Chris Sucker Punch, that's not fun. That, that's Kirby's taking a break now, at this point. Just for taking a break. Why did you have to break? Come on. 
Yeah, no more three turn fight. Uh, unfortunately for Jayosh, it's been a long time since anybody has gotten a three turn. Three turns are but... just a meme at this point, they don't exist. But if he gets a little bit lucky. Okay, that looks good. Looks like he's gonna have a four turn fight. Is that the Raticate went to sucker punch the Cubone, who of course decided to use focus energy, but that is all right because it guarantees that the Starmie won't have that he won't have to heal the Starmie on this turn. That's a good archer. And that's a clean four turn fight, so that will definitely help Jayash's cause. That's the kind of fight you want to see. As anytime you start seeing five, six, or seven turn fights, you'll probably see more resets. And those longer fights are just in nature more dangerous to begin with, because usually those stem from getting Thunderbolt turn one, and Thunderbolt right. could paralyze. You might have to just play through that. You might just be be saying, okay, I got to play around not getting yep. sucker punched on this turn. And it's just inherently more dangerous because that fight is taking so many turns. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure my PB got crit T-Bolt para. Mm. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just rude. <laughs> I think it had like a six turn fight. Yeah. It was so bad. I have died to that fight entirely. Like having it literally never mm -hmm. stop using T-Bolt. Even when I, like, even after Starmie died, Rapidash goes in, it still killed Rapidash. Yeah, that's that has also happened to me where it's uh, so I, got, I, got a, I got a Thunderbolt uh, paralysis, and when you're fully paralyzed so many times in a row, it just, mm -hmm. it just kind of snowballs into a point where it's just yep. like, do I heal this or do I just die this turn? And it's like, guess I'll die now. <laughs> that was really early on in my speedrunning career where I... I wasn't even sub four at that point. So I'm like, you know what? Forget it. This can still go. Like I had plenty of pace. Then it just died. I'm like, nope. Bye run. That doesn't happen. Yeah, and uh well Jash is taking a uh, a uh, page out of Etiquette's book and uh actually talking to us kind of through the chat <laughs> in between some of his uh uh battles here, mentioning that the sucker punch into focus energy saved that four turn. Otherwise, he would have had to heal out of Sucker Punch range, which That's would have used really up another turn. So yeah, that is, that is gr honestly, you love to see. He's on a really, really good pace right now. By the way, we have uh, we have Cyan um, about to catch Staryu. Is this Cyan's first Staryu? Yeah, Cyan, I... one of the first, the only one to have so I've not set a time yet. Okay, that's the haunter now, which will give him 43. Uh, the CP on Science Starry was a little low. It was a 1034. Ooh. Ooh. That's so, probably going to be either a really low special attack or a really low speed, if not both. Yeah, that's... Obviously, uh, we say, like, 1050 is about average. Uh, and that could be an average of all the stats, or it could be really high and really low in certain stats. Uh, so you're just a little less likely to get the stats that you'd like out of that Staryu slash Starmie. Even but, though you know, at this stage, you might just need a run on the board. But as we, as we've heard, I would like, imagine Sine just wants a do. good run. Yeah. That's probably what he will do. Um, CP realistically doesn't always mean anything. I mean, we've seen 1,100 CPs with trash special attack or trash speed. Just because they're good in every other stat. Yep. We can all blame so Pokemon, this thing though, could for, be for CPs. Oh, 77. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that is quite low on the special attack side. Like, this is almost as bad as it gets special attack. This is really bad. Yeah, I I believe 73 is the lowest it can go. Um, um on 45, I think it's 76. Okay, at 45. I think I've seen 75 at 45. It, it's somewhere around there. So this is, it's this is... no more than a two or three IV. 
which is really bad. They'll have a lot of ranges coming up. Hopefully that speed is a little better, which we'll be we will be able to see in a second here when Scald is taught. Did I just see a 113 speed? Please tell me uh, I didn't. I saw a 118. Okay. <laughs> I just and 118 see... would still outspeed everything in Blaine's gym. Yes, it would. Just to give a quick update, uh, it seems like Etchy did in fact get a 30234, so that's a one second improvement compared to what we thought before. Wonderful. Uh, slightly <laughs> bit more difficult to beat, you could say. Nice. Well, I mean, if, if Katerny's proved anything, it's that every second matters. True. That's very true. Especially at these, like, the lower times you get, like these times, every second is huge. This becomes that much more difficult to, to trim off. Yep. Which I see all the time, even in, like, The Last of Us runs. Like, whenever I watch, like, Anthony Caliber, he's trying to PB by a matter of 14 seconds tops. <laughs> fractions of a second. <laughs> yes, fractions Basically. of a second matter. Basically, just fractions of a second. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like that in speedruns. When you start getting that low and the run is already almost completely optimized. These are very new strats that we are seeing with the two controllers, so it will be a little while before we get to that point. But I would not be at all surprised to at some point start seeing two, three seconds in a split being the best you're going to save. And, and speaking on that, with all these new strats being developed, and we're seeing a lot of that in this event, um, because two obviously two of the people that I watch the most are Etika and Echi, and while they both run Eevee, they run Eevee differently from one they another do. they've they've pretty much developed their own strats from the ground up and said this is the strat that best suits me yeah and and seeing their times which are now within 30 seconds apart proves that there could honestly be multiple solutions to achieving the best time in this type of a run where we have to catch 50 pokemon just to get into koga's gym i would not be at all surprised to see that being the case and at the end of the day, you, you got to get a little bit lucky anyways yes, <laughs> with those 50 true. catches. It's just, <laughs> yes, there's do. still that RNG element that's going to haunt everybody <laughs> to be like, okay, I have the best strat. Now, where's now where's this Pidgey? <laughs> I'm, hey, at least it's better than the other catch category in the other game that runs in Kanto. I eat my red ground. Yeah, no, you don't have to say it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we all know, we all understand. <laughs> and that one you have to catch 60. Don't, don't oh ever gosh. run by Red Leaf Green. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, is that? That I mean... see on Katniss' screen? Alright. It is a chancy. Oh, and it's oh, a huge oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, this could be a mistake, everybody. We have a huge chance. This is going to give outrageous experience here if it gets in the ball. Especially first one. Catches okay. with the excellence. Okay. And he got it. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> How much EXP is that going to give? From one oh, and there's a level thousand. 13 butter free. He yeah, does get so level cool. 16 though, which guarantees he's okay. And I probably the first time we've mentioned it at this event, hitting level 13 for Butterfree is very slow because you have to cancel three moves. You have to cancel all the powder moves. We go that side as well, Chelsea in the tail. But gets the chancy, so so who knows that uh, that extra experience might still pay dividends. Caterdies did need that though, just because his experience was not great. Right. I believe he was only level 13 still. He was level 13. So, in in all honesty, that was a no-brainer. That had to bail him out, because if he doesn't get that chancy, he doesn't get level 15 for Misty, usually just reset that. Yeah. And basically every top runner at this point says, 
if I'm not 15 for Misty and you get kicked out of Misty's gym and have to do Nugget Bridge first, they're like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to go through that 40 seconds of time loss. Yeah. And I'm sure even you and I are probably in the same boat where if we're not 15 leaving Mount Moon, we're resetting. Yeah. And we're just at the 310 pace. Yeah. 310 to <laughs> my PB is a 314, but I've had so many 310s. Yeah. And they all just died. <laughs> And I have the 310 run that can't be submitted because my stream died four times and then my local recording cut out near the end. <laughs> so I have Which this completely fun. split run. <laughs> but it's just like, all right, I got the split saved at least. <laughs> Wait, teapot splicing runs? What? <laughs> I, I didn't submit it, so that's why I speed <laughs> .com. It's still the 311. Do, do I need gonna to just remove T-Pack from integ <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The integrity of these runs must be pure. I'm surprised that you would even that you would even hint that I could cheat in a Pokemon game to begin with. We're all friends here. I have to, I have to give you a hard time. Come on. <laughs> well, I'll just pass that hard time on to Keys around because he always cheats in bingos. That, I mean, how else can you explain winning all the time? True. It doesn't matter. He's in New Orleans at the moment. Best wishes to, to Keys. I ho hopefully he survived the tropical storm there, right? There was a tropical storm there? Yeah. Yeah, there was a little oh. tropical storm that, that went through there. And he he had texted me. He was just like, why am I boating in the car? And I'm like, ah, hydroplaning. I'm glad you got to experience that for the first time of your life. And apparently it was a brand new experience for somebody that lived in an area that doesn't get rain ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, to be fair, he is with Emray, so... Yeah, That's they'll fine. be alright. Actually, yeah. it's funny, because they were like, Emray gets to drive in the wet weather conditions, and Keys gets to drive in the snow conditions. Because Emray doesn't know how to drive in the snow. <laughs> yeah. So it works out perfectly. It's just, it's just tag team driving at that point. Think of it as two controller driving. That's an interesting way of putting it. I mean, it could also be uh, interpreted as uh, one person on the pedals, one person on the wheel. <laughs> that just <laughs> sounds like that, a mistake. Isn't, isn't that driving true call? I mean, that, I mean, that's just a cartoon style of driving. <laughs> no, don't two controller drive. Bad idea. <laughs> no, yeah. We don't condone, we don't condone two controller drive. We driving. don't condone this. Uh, well, we'll put Josh. Well, we got to let Josh focus on Koga's Gym. So he's the next runner to hit 50 Pokemon, get into Koga's Gym. And as mentioned before, the theme here is getting poisoned into Protect. And even if you don't get poisoned, the Protects are still annoying because it just wastes another turn, just bleeding seconds upon seconds in this gym. And there's two trainers to get through. There's Kaden before we the get The true gym leader. So you you said this to me before the true gym leader. Why is Kaden so much worse than Koga? Um, because Kaden has minimize, oh, which much like um sand, sand attack. attack will lower your chances of hitting. Okay, protection one is ideal. Getting, that was a good yeah. start. In addition to getting protect while trying to hit through minimize. Yeah, so that thing has to... minimize. It can moonblast, which can lower your special attack. It, it's so bad. Just having chat point now. Cyan uh, exited Blaine's gym at a uh, two hundred two. Yeah, Cyan exactly. is on an outrageously good pace. You just have that kind of yes, and with forty-seven. Hopefully, Zayn just might be the person to bop Echi on his first completed run. I mean, to be fair, this is the type of run that Simon was gunning for this week. Like, I, get, I mentioned this before, mm -hmm. but he was not too fussed about finishing runs. He just wanted to get on the run and just try and, and this go is from there. The this run. is looking like the run. He does Zayn. still have the un. Fortunate Archer 2 to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. We believe. We believe in Cyan. About 20 seconds ahead of his 302. Wait, Etiquette, how many... Do we know how many pokes Etiquette had after Surge? 
See, that's a tricky question because etiquette does the flopped uh, Surge and Erica fights. Not any, like, on his world record. It was that before he did that. Oh, 47? Okay, so same. So yeah, he's about 20 seconds ahead of world record right now. So that's definitely one to watch. Yeah. What was Etiquette's We'll keep an eye on Saiyan's run for sure. What was that stamina like in Etiquette's world record? I'm not sure. That's the unfortunate thing with Saiyan's run is it does have a bad special attack star me. Has there been many protects on Toga? No, I don't. I think I've only seen one. Yeah, that, I mean, so like, that Mook didn't. Mook didn't protect that. Do you, do you also Golbat notice that uh, that he was also able to just scald the Golbat instead of having to use Thunderbolt or Psychic? So I think Jayash's Starmie has decently high special attack. That looked like it a very good to... Koga fight. That's a fantastic gym, like the perfect gym almost. It's about as good as you can ask for. Yeah, oh, reasonably. Weren't, weren't, weren't you mentioning that Weezing could, in theory, self-destruct turn one on Koga? Yes, it can. It's highly yeah. unlikely, <laughs> but it can go boom. Hey, and if it does, and it gets about... low enough, uh... then everything else can kill you, and they'll go for kill moves instead of protect. Koga go boom. Perfect gym is Gym Freak 739. True, Greta, true. And so we mentioned Etiquette's world record run. And it's it's one of the weirdest things in the Pokemon community because this year, I mean between last year and this year, how many records have fallen all across? all of the mainline games and all the main categories it's been nearly everything yeah. so etiquette's so let's many. go yeah and so that makes etiquette's let's go eevee world record run almost stand out to this point as one of the longest standing world record runs as it's from 2019. yeah i think there's only there's only like a few that might be just a bit longer i think everything at this point is from I think like the longest is from 2018. There used to be uh, Alpha Sapphire with um, with IMAX this time, which was not on the leaderboards. So, but then, uh, was uh, it Five Main. Uppa that just got it? Yeah, yeah. Super Main just came. In. That was an incredible run. Yeah, Emerald is gonna be one of the harder times to ever beat. That Emerald run is outrageous. And if. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, I think Gunner's been going for that record for at least a couple months now. Maybe oh, dropping in and out back and forth. Sapphire, not Emerald. Okay. I think. But he's also he's... taking a break. Yeah, Gunner's been having uh, hand issues quite common with Pokemon Speed Runners. But yeah. Chiru is excellent at Gen 3. <laughs> Hero is excellent. <laughs> That's good. You guys were you guys were hyping about one of his runs this morning, weren't you? Yes, uh, we were. Yeah, it was the reason why Wartab literally only just <laughs> managed to get into the uh, into the pre-show on time. Like literally, it was like on the timer. So it was like three, two. Wartab came in. I dragged him in. Like, <laughs> Panic to do like the intro for the for the pre-show. So, yeah, and it's all because was... Shiro's run didn't finish. As I've been yeah, she, uh, Shiru's run. It would like, because uh, I mean, I was I wasn't watching Shiru's run. So I wasn't either. Uh, just from what I saw of it, I from what I heard, there was just like a joke of like it was like forty five minutes ahead of world record. So I assume <laughs> there was some like bullet changes or something. I don't know. Apparently, it died to Bruno. And apparently, oh. Amoeba's coming really close to bopping he the has. Emerald. Yeah, like, I mean, we were, oh god, what was it? It was like, I think that there was a run where I think he, he had to play risky and get like, I think it was double Blizzmiss in there. Yeah. And it just didn't work out. But like, yeah, I mean, has been getting close. Definitely has been getting close. Hitting but, Blizzard, that sounds about as bad as trying to hit Hydro Pump. Speaking of hitting Roughly, Hydro Pump, it's like though, 75% if I remember right. It's yeah. pretty bad. 
let's see if Josh manages to hit his Hydro Pump at Samuel. Because I do imagine he will one through one control of this. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's one control in this. So, hopefully. Leave it for a bit because I'm a bit ahead of everyone. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. 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 Okay, now Saiyan coming into Sylphco. Keep an eye open for that one because he's got the blue fight, which is really three. And then we have the fun part of Archer. Is Oh, wait, no. It's... Scold is this specific, like... I don't remember what it's specifically, but this gold that can be used, right? You have a certain special attack or something, right? Yeah, uh, Scald, you, Scald can Scald. KO uh, plenty of Pokemon in Koga's gym. Yes. Um, if you have high enough special attack. If not, then you have to go for Psychic. And that's actually the reason why that Elixir moment before, after the gym is sometimes a bit fluid. Sometimes you want those extra, uh, those extra Psychics before the gym, sometimes you think you have enough and you can wait and do it more optimally after the gym. And if you get really unlucky with Protects, sometimes you Elixir and then you still have to heal. Which happened to one of our runners on day one. It did. Where it was like, used eight total Psychics through Koga's gym and you don't have enough Psychics to make it uh, to the Officer Jenny heal in Victory Road which is the next heal point. Hey, Geo, please just don't be kind. Because as Matt mentioned in the last commentary section, we've had issues with crits with this thing. And he manages to live on 10. Yeah, he managed to get through perfectly <laughs> fine there, which is very fortunate. Which does mean he will have to heal before Rival 5. Yes. And... I mean, we know that Josh... Uh, all this, I'm pretty sure is Josh has very solid special attack if he was going for Scold and the Golbat. Oh, yeah, Golbat, right? Something like that back in Kogu's gym. Yeah, yeah. He has he has high special attack. The question is, does he have good speed, though, to maybe consider going for the one control of fight? Um, that's a good question. He might just be able to, but that's really risky. All right, also, let's yes, let's what? bless up for yeah. Saiyan's um, run because now's Archer 2. Yeah, Jash, by the way, has 130 speed. I don't think that's quite fast enough. Uh, especially since he is running Pika, that means the rival has the Jolteon. Oh, we, oh yeah, I forget this is Pika, isn't it? This is the difference. Yeah, I think I remember Josh saying to never go for the a one control fight in Pika, so never mind, it'll be a two control fight, I imagine. But anyway, Diane. But yeah, here we go with the Archer fight. Good. Classic lag. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, that's a really good start. Alright, okay, alright. This is, this is something. Waiting in bated breath. What's gonna happen this turn? Okay, now we want to see double bone meringue from the Cubone onto the Raticate. So the, the three turns still a play. One okay. can only hope. Okay. Actually, wait, no, I think that was. Oh. Nah. Focus energy from the Cubone. You, in fact, you can tell oh, because the Sucker Punch failed yeah. on Cubone. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, at least it wasn't the Protect from the Weezing. Which now, could, really too could much theoretically, oh, well, I guess since crits are only one and a half instead of two times, even a double crit from Bone Meringue wouldn't be enough. It was, uh, it was something, though. <laughs> So that was now you my... bone marine. Really? Why couldn't you have done that last turn? To be fair though, that was what still four turn. That was yeah. Too bad. That's still a clean four turn fight. That's a clean archer two fight. Saiyan is still on a run. We take those for sure. 
In fact, it just... would be the event PB. This uh, this is not currently only, on pace. Not only would that be event PB, I have just compared it to Etiquette's world record pace run. That is 12 seconds ahead at the Archer 2 fight on the same Pokemon count. So if with everything else equal, that'd be 301. 56 pace. The one slight issue is there might have to be extra turns of setup. Because again, this is yes, a very bad because this is a Cyan. really bad Starmie. Special attack wise. But still, to be on that pace after the Archer 2 fight. I mean, that's, that's just a hurdle. That's just an extra hurdle. And now you don't have to worry about getting, you know, a 7 turn Archer 2 fight, which could have wasted a whole minute or more. Yeah, that is... Getting past Archer 2, I think, obviously, Titan's not going to be, uh, like, having a, I can't think of the words right now, but, like, uh, just, it's, it's still going to be thinking there's a lot of runs coming up, but it's definitely one major obstacle out of the way. The next so would I, be Koga's Gym, yes. right? That would be one of the big ones, yes, where you can lose a lot of time. And you're just hoping that you don't lose a lot of time. <laughs> We'll also see how his movement is on the tiles in Sabrina's gym. Do you want to explain why that can be an issue? Yeah, uh, yeah. so the, the tiles in Sabrina's gym, all the teleporter tiles, if you attack them, usually your character pauses, turns, and then walks one step onto the tile to activate. But if you hit it at a very square angle, like directly on it, your character will run immediately onto the teleporter pad and then activate. And you can save like a most most of a second. And there are so many teleporter pads in Sabrina's gym that that can add up. You can save several seconds just by having good teleporter movement in Sabrina's gym. Yep. I think it's like, what, a second, second and a half per tile? I think, yeah, I think it's around a second. Uh, I might have to ask one of the top runners if they've exactly timed it. It also could be dependent on how much your character would just turn. Like if you're this at like true. a weird 45 degree angle and they have to do like a full turn and kind of stop and step. It, it just, it feels so much longer. Watch this pace right now, mid 303, yeah. Which would bop etiquette for third place. So we have two really fantastic runs going right now. Nice right, two two controller fight for Naomi. Playing it safe, making sure that you didn't end the run here. See if he actually manages to. Okay. Yeah, a bit ahead, but he does end up hitting the hydro pump, which is very nice. I always like to see your hydro pumps. Yeah, Kervis, like Kervis just mentioned, it looks like Saiyan marked the Lapras and Porygon, which you get free prior to Geo. Well, prior to even getting them, which. Oh, yeah, I often just a. Do. Yeah, just to free up your hand. Just so you don't I generally do that him. right at the Geo fight because that's where you have an extra free time. <laughs> so I just quickly mark them because they're free pokes. Actually, uh, getting past Brock. According to actually, it's an insane Brock split. Like he's, he's already got Butterfree. Yeah, that's that's quite fast. That's so uh, he was fast. like right. He was like right at nineteen with eight pokes already. He's got well, nine with the yeah. Three. Nine pokes on a nineteen thirty. That's so fast. That's pretty good. That is uh, that's that's near flawless for <laughs> for Viridian Forest. And it's not uncommon to see like a 1840, 1850 with seven pokes. Had to use an awakening on Starmie there. But I uh, got hypnotized uh, by hypnotized now. 
that will actually enable Echi to deposit the Butterfree on the last menu later on in Mount Moon. Which obviously you don't want that Butterfree to hit level 13. Just... No, you don't. <laughs> Unlike that what Caternese had happen to him. <laughs> that will make it safe. I imagine he will probably pull that back out when he deposits all the other catches in Mount Moon. So Jim Freak coming back in now. Uh, got a message saying that they're going to be time runs any moment. Right. Yeah, and Jayosh taking the last the last free heal of the game. In Victory Road. I'm just I'm still get I'm still so amazed how fast everybody does the Alexa skip, by the way. Oh, and gosh. I know that we've praised etiquette for doing it really fast, but still everybody <laughs> does it at a at a good pace. They do, and it makes me cringe every time. You know, and there's there's something about the the free flowing movement of this game, and you actually see it with some spinner passes. How some people like their character to keep moving instead of stopping and starting, as if it's like a little janky. But yeah, just doing it so fluid, it's just there's just a rhythm to it, right? Yeah. And the way they make it look so easy and realistically that is the hardest skip in the game Ooh. i still take it slow and it's the hard miss the using the awakening from on jinx oh no Ooh. oh yeah this is a rough fight ongoing for Josh, Josh yeah. here because he missed a hydro pump got the special defense fall was put to sleep twice yeah, so this actually means he act he has to do an extra heal uh, before he gets to the uh, to the Lickitung trainer not gonna be taking and, it close to high 303 or maybe even low 304 at this point now or that was a lot that happened there. Uh, this might be a low 304 at this point, yeah. We'll have a better idea after we get past Lorelei. Unfortunately, Lorelei is there. 11 minutes to the end. Roughly. Plus, we have the boulder pushing, uh, pushing section happening <laughs> right now. The, the most exciting the... portion of the game. <laughs> yeah, let's take 35 seconds and just push this thing straight. Well, you know you know whose fault that is. And it was mentioned uh, a couple moments ago by Eraser. Uh, fire Red Leaf Green. Because Victory Road mirrors that exact map. Yes, it does. And yes, they have to push that boulder this far in Fire Red Leaf Green. So now we have to do that in Let's Go, and it takes forever. Just all the more reason to uh, probably just not play said other game. <laughs> Aside from the garbage minip that everybody hates. I... <laughs> See, as a good commentator, I'd be like, oh, yes, and just explain that Manip for us. No, don't do that. Don't explain the Manip. <laughs> no one needs to know it. No one understands it anyways. Right. And no, Greta, they don't. <laughs> We're not exactly Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, not like knowledge bases yet. No, not our expert areas. You need me to talk about Urshifu. I should be good there. But. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why are leaf green, leaf green runners have to make it out of the lab first? True. <laughs> True. Yeah, Greta, I'm with you on that one. I'd rather not talk about Urshifu. 
Why not? And I don't even know that run. <laughs> it's a great run. It's, it's like one of the shortest uh, Switch runs that are like, that have like quite a fair few runs. N nice convenient run. If you like potentially losing 30% of your runs to one single Pokemon. Right? <laughs> Get to Calyrex Supremacy? Okay, that's fair. Okay, I I try I gave that category a go. It's it's not much to do. In my opinion. But for those who do enjoy the run, fair play. Full power see it. Lost fifty seconds to victory road, sad. Oh. That's rough. Yeah, and it just I mean that shows you that while there aren't very many super dangerous fights, it's just all about bleeding time. It's it's not where I where can I gain time? It's hopefully I don't lose time here <laughs> because there's just so much time to be lost. There, there's times all over this run, much like any Pokemon run, where you will lose time to different fights just because of bad RNG. That's the joys of Pokemon speedrunning. But, but I, for one, hope that we have our third finished run of the day. Oh, so do I. Yeah. I actually hope for the fourth, in which case I hope Cyan bops Etiquette's world record time. That would be absolutely amazing. That would, that be, would be amazing. I mean, it's the whole and point as much of this as event, would it? love to <laughs> hold on to his world record, he would 100% agree. Let's bop that, please. Five seconds ahead of Eevee record, but gonna lose ten seconds to turn arounds. So it's actually looking like he's a bit Ooh. behind the pace. Jos just Don't missed give a shit uh, about your record. That's fair. Yeah, Jos actually just got uh, KO'd uh, by the uh, by the Dugong. Oh, oh. So that's probably before the Rip. his setup was even finished. Must have gotten a crit. Yeah, got a crit on the last turn of his setup. Gonna not finish this, that's fair. Uh, Cyan. Yeah, oh, that is so unfortunate. It would have been close, it would have actually been very close to probably getting just, just event PBing, you know, low 304, high 303, probably pr pretty close to where etiquette was. But if he can't 304 36, which is his current event PB, yeah, it might not be worth finishing this one out. That is really, really unfortunate there. Went in with barely enough health to take two waterfall and aqua jet, but quick killed it. Ow. Ow. Should we design though into the main focus? Yeah. Ooh. Unfortunate. Unlucky. That is Jayash. so unlucky. Caden. Yeah, Caden oh. giving him the toxic protect, double protect. Ooh. Oh, oh, not and, like oh he, had the, he had to minimize too. Oh, it's the it's the RNG hell prophecy come true. The minimize. This is the true gym leader. I did say this. And he does have to use yet another psychic on the Beedrill because of the moon. And the moon blast the special. Oh. No. So if, so if he hasn't used an elixir, he has not to use like it now because he doesn't have enough psychics. To finish off Koga. Yeah, as well with this bad Sam, he's like, he can't really get away with Scald. Yeah, he can't get away with Scald, no. Yeah, he had to use that early. So this is pretty much just throw. <laughs> he's gonna have to use some Scalds here, because only four Psychics no. left to use on this fight. He used the elixir. He already took you care did? of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna make things dull for though later on that. It just might, yeah. He should be okay. It's not uncommon to have to do that. But this is why I had said Caden is the true gym leader. He will do that. Okay, that's a protect turn one, that's fine. Yeah, I should point out, this is still 
302 plays for science. Still a very good run. Hayden is a punk. Agreed. Such a bad fight. Such a bad fight. Gets one Protect on Golbat, but is using Thunderbolt just to save those extra Psychics. Ah, uh, Mookie's. And there is a Protect. As long as he doesn't get double Protect here. So Sign is through Koga. That was uh, probably one of the worst Kogas. I think that probably is the worst Koga, at least in this event. Uh, yeah, definitely in yeah, the event. Yeah, he lost, a, lost just so, so much time. Um, but yeah, this is well behind the world record pace now. Yeah. And just to oh, add it, insult to injury, that, that Starmie has no Psychic PP left. So, he, look, I, I think he's going to have to take a heal at some point. Um... Or, or just know how to manage your other move counts. Yeah. yeah. This is still apparently mid-302 pace. Which is insane. Even with a garbage star, like garbage Koga. Yeah, no psychics is bad. He will have to hydro the Nidorino. A little bit of a mismenu there. Oh, wait, shout to uh, Krabby on Candy's uh, stream. Clearly on Route 10 doing the catches before. Uh, actually, same for Headstrong as well, doing the catches before Rock Tunnel. Well, like I said, Headstrong's actually fighting the, the Rocket Grunt. But might be either be doubling back or just about to head into Rock Tunnel on their end, so hopefully that's going to go well for them. Edgy has a Clefable. I think this is a strat that we saw <laughs> earlier today where he deposited the. Uh, the Butterfree, but caught the Clefairy and just Moonstoned it immediately to be its doubles partner. Which is actually a smart play, because then they go for the Clefable, generally speaking. Yeah, you can, just that little extra security to avoid that uh, poison on that first Jesse D James fight. And that's probably also likely meaning they also they got double Moonstone. Yeah, 100%. They won't evo that unless they get the double. Oh, wait, actually, wait, and Edgy's been... Is that even on Eevee, actually? Is, that is why Edgy's running. Yeah, that's why it's possible to use those Moonstones on uh, Clefairy and Jigglypuff, as opposed to having to save it for the Nidoking. Because Eevee does not need the Nidoking. Um, it does look like Kerbis is now on a run, yes. That is my bad. <laughs> Come on, Jordan, I thought you were on top of this. <laughs> I am yeah, never multi on top of anything. Jordan. <laughs> I am very, very slow when it comes to noticing things like that. <laughs> There's been a fair few times where the time has been going, and I've just, I've just not noticed it. Oh, Josh, Josh okay. is still on the break, though. I am correct with that one. Yes. Yes, you are. For now. For now. <laughs> Josen is not tired. Nice try. Yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, Josh is probably the streamer that streams the latest out of everybody. All right. I mean, I've, I've seen him go is. past midnight Pacific time easily. There has yeah. been many times where I am working and watching him. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually like getting off of work at around that time. And he's still going. So I, I don't I don't think uh I don't think he's gonna be very tired. I think he's gonna go to the very end. There might be another chance that he's the last runner two nights in a row. It I would not surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me either. 
And I believe he also said that he'll ruin it. even terrible Eevees. Oh, e uh, terrible Pikas. <laughs> Well, it is a better Very chance. Gaming. It Very is a better true. chance to get a runnable Pika than it is a runnable Eevee. True. Because all those minus speed natures tend to not matter as much for the very fast Pikachu. Also, going to make sure Jordan stays up as long as possible. How yeah. thoughtful! <laughs> okay. Okay, Fizz. Good on that. That was good science. And fellow then. Pokemon speedrunner who degens. Starting way late. Both Hydro the Hydro Pump. Oh, that's fun. Well, kind of had to hit it anyways. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but... If it's out. Can it's I just so ask him? Sorry. I'll let you go. No, I'm just saying, we still have a run with Saiyan. It's just, yeah, I just I think it's going to be so interesting between uh, what's going to happen for Rival 5 and uh, and Naomi. Oh. Because you got to, you, you need psychics for those fights, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's going to get very... After this here, I would not be surprised to see a ether or an elixir take place. Let's just have a quick look at psychic count. And it's eventually come up. Uh, just a quick question about Cat and Ether's room though. Uh, I, I think it was like a one, one oh seven fifty something as the end of Rock Tunnel. Is that yeah? Like, how is that pace looking with twenty seven? catches and also uh, the, the chop with 27 there. catches that's pretty decent yeah 27 is a pretty high catch count uh that's a really high rock catch count. tunnel like my rock tunnel entered rock tunnel on pb with 26 set of 110 flat uh apparently same went to the pokemon center Into... Yeah, that that makes sense. Probably probably hit the center. Uh, okay. in, that would in do it. Yeah, very yeah you you just you just had to at some points. Yeah, Josh did not finish run. Lorelai, would which be... the center would probably kill a three o two. Better than having no psychics for the Venusaur. You're very true. <laughs> so they, I don't. This isn't any. You know, this isn't on pace to bop at cheese time anymore. This is PB pace still though, because Zion's PB yeah. PB three hundred three thirty four. Yeah, this is definitely PB yeah, pace. Yeah, st still in range. This actually is probably pretty close to Jim Freak's time on the board right uh, now. Okay, Josh. I I, I saw that. If I saw not, what happened there. Definitely going to bop his. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I think we're gonna have a reset on JS. Yep. Yeah. So uh, JS did not catch the Pikachu. The uh, was... the motion controls definitely uh, limp that Pokeball out. Twice. <laughs> Twice, yes. And usually when you're frustrated the first time, and then you try to shake the Joy-Con aggressively the second time, it also gives you a pretty strange result. <laughs> yep, it just yeets the ball clear over the top of it, and you're like, okay, fine. Or, or do you that. pretty much just like it falls out of your fingertips, and it's just like, oh, well. Yeah, it, okay. it literally just dribbled out. Like, it was very unfortunate. Uh, Kanye's Everyone catching the right who's on. run this game has had that happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've had that happen plenty. I mean, the hardest menu of the game is that very first options menu. Am I not wrong? Am I not wrong? That not options wrong. menu is so hard. It is. I botch it so many times just because you either do one too many inputs or uh. Eh, this was this was menus. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Aspect uh, also in chat saying that uh, can't run boy one. Speaking of which, like. Oops. Character selection. We we see some people playing the boy character. We see some play, people playing the girl character. It actually doesn't matter in this one. No, it does not. 
I personally run boy one because it's the very first one right there and I just go. And a lot of I people are like, the eh, input. just pick the girl. Like in this case, Josh picks girl one. Yeah, but sometimes we get some really creative ones. Like, like doesn't Joker pick girl three? Has to do three extra inputs just to get to that character. But I've it's seen like girl an three. Yes. It's an unnegotiable change. <laughs> Josh has done girl three during this run. I will uh, not during this run during this event, I believe. It has been shown. Well, she has been shown, I guess. But yeah, one of the one of the few games where it's not like pick the girl because it's faster. It it literally makes no difference. The only difference in picking them is the inputs to select said character. And even then, you could just name them wrong and <laughs> lose the time, anyways. <laughs> like if you're me, yeah, you we've you never done that, that You forget to hit the minus button, and it's like, oh, I guess my character's name is one 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 one. <laughs> yup. Usually it's my oh. rifle that ends up being one 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 one, and it's just like, there, how did I even make any extra inputs on that one? <laughs> we've done that <laughs> so many times. Uh, I'm trying to think what my PB is with. It's probably with girl one character. Etchies is with boy one, for shame. As is mine. <laughs> I've only ever really run boy one. There's also going to be turnarounds. In yes, there will be. I, the I don't think this is Jim Freak's time. I do think this is probably closer to a mid-303. Razor, would you like to explain turnarounds to the audience? You mean aside from the fact that it's the worst invention? Thanks, Jim Freak. I Game Freak. Why? <laughs> thanks, Jim Freak. <laughs> thanks, Jim Freak. <laughs> oh, your fault. God, Jim Sorry, Freak. Jim. Why did you wow. even turn it out? Way to shift all of that, Blake. <laughs> Anyways, turnaround. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Love you. My bad. <laughs> I'm sitting there watching you run. I'm like, oops, I just said that. <laughs> oh, geez. Completely botched that. English is hard. No, so turnarounds, it's based off of your happiness level. And you'll notice at a certain point, like after a certain threshold, after each move, you'll watch the Pokemon either be it Eevee starting to turn over its head and look back, Pika doing the same thing, or Starmie turning slightly, and it wastes two seconds every turn. And weirdly enough, friendship has been uh, in the Pokemon series since Gen 2. Because obviously you have the infamous Umbreon, Espeon friendship evolutions. And oh. while that's been a mechanic since Gen 2, it, this is probably one of the first games where you can't decrease your Pokemon's friendship in any way. Oh, unfortunately, Katniss has just died. Uh, and uh, oh, you've got to heal, yeah, to basically. The, yeah, to the, to the Machop's Brick Break. Yeah. Got to heal. Too busy petting Rayhorn. <laughs> yeah, that is a an unfortunate reset there. Um, but to finish my point, uh, it's one of the few games where we can't decrease friendship uh, because bitter medicines, you know, like the revival herbs and uh, energy roots, were so bitter it was like, oh, your Pokemon didn't like that. It would actually de decrease their friendship by actually quite a few, you know, points. Yes. And if that were, and there are other ways to decrease friendship, like uh, if they're KO'd at any point, uh, that also is like a decrease in friendship, whereas increases come from using items and potions, using them in major battles, like gym battles would reward more friendship points uh, yep. than, than any other normal battle would. But since there is no way to decrease friendship, there are no revival herbs, there's no energy roots and energy powders. 
friendship just outright can't go down. Otherwise, it would definitely be a mechanic we use. Like, like think about it. If we could decrease friendship, we would go out of our way to get energy powders for Starmie. Like, 100%. Yeah. 100 uh, Yeah, definitely. It would be a lot easier. Like, it would be so much easier that way. And decreasing the... Like, we still heal with hyper potions throughout the run. Now just take the same healing, but instead lower instead of increase increase yeah and, and then you wouldn't okay. you wouldn't ever have to risk turnarounds at any point in the run true josh true there is that stats are tied to friendship so that is an issue there there is a couple we had it we had it twice during my shift yesterday where where somebody lived on one uh i think it was etiquette in the one controller rival five fights yes um, lost the speed tie uh got hit with Thunderbolt and lived on one because Starmie hung on like was worried about you so it hung on on one HP and it's like you can get bailed out uh, you know Agatha can uh, Starmie can shake off the paralysis on its own but I think the trade off for having fewer turnarounds might outweigh uh, some of those friendship stats Yeah, uh, so we are at the hour and a half mark of our shift here. Uh, Cyan on a very good run at the moment, so we will stay tuned to that. But the commentators, we're all going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. More Barrier Blitz after this.